Evil Portal explained. Evil Portal is one of the Wi-Fi applications on the Marauder firmware. Evil Portal is a fake Wi-Fi login page used to capture credentials, redirect users, or manipulate network traffic. It is commonly used in penetration testing to test the security of Wi-Fi networks and users. Rogue Wi-Fi Access Point A hacker sets up a fake Wi-Fi network, e.g., free coffee Wi-Fi at a cafe. The Evil Portal spoofs, imitates, a real network name to trick users. Captive Portal Attack When users connect, they are redirected to a login page that looks like a real one, e.g., Starbucks Wi-Fi login. The page requests login credentials, e.g., email, username, password. Credential Capture If a user enters their credentials, they are saved for later use. Some portals may also harvest session cookies to hijack active accounts, redirecting, or exploiting users. Some evil portals use JavaScript injections or MITM, man-in-the-middle, attacks to modify user traffic. Attackers can redirect victims to malicious websites or inject malware. Where is evil portal used? Wi-Fi security audits. Ethical hackers test how vulnerable users are to phishing. Red team testing. Security teams use it to evaluate company network security. Unethical uses of an evil portal, illegal activities. While evil portals can be used for ethical penetration testing, they are often misused by cybercriminals for malicious purposes. How it works? A hacker sets up a fake Wi-Fi network in a public place. Users connect, thinking it's a legitimate hotspot. The evil portal forces them to enter their email, username, or password to log in. The hacker steals credentials and uses them for account takeover, identity theft, or selling on the dark web. Important note. The Marauder ESP32 is a legal tool when used ethically, such as testing networks you own or have permission to analyze. Using it to attack or disrupt networks without permission is illegal in many countries.